not a game, it's a red skin. Hello everyone, it's me welcoming you to my new tutorials. My client told me to make this one meaning this photo amazing sort of dull photo. So I decided to make this one uh, sort of color getting and sort of uh, some manipulations. If you're new in my channel, please do subscribe and hit the bell icon for the new notifications. So here we are getting the dull colors over there. So at first we have to make copy by pressing Ctrl or Command J and then we'll go to the filter before that we have to uh, remove the background uh, like uh, the sky let's try this one with the sky replacement here is the sky replacement going to the edit and going to the sky replacement options from here uh, if we try this one uh, with this sort of uh, stock image meaning uh, the stock uh, photos of the sky over there so let's try different images different skies so that's good and let's try this one that's good because of uh, the contrast and the ambient is uh, matching with that and hit the ok button if you want you can change here the is shifting the faded edge and everything you can uh, change it up or you can keep those things as like me and hit the ok button so if we turn off here was the dull sky we made it a little bit of amazing things so these two things will make it uh, convert to smart object just because of will make editation in future for like that okay in this portion providing the name uh, edit that's good and after that going to the uh, filter and then camera filter in this portion will enhance the color of these rust and the photos and uh, other stuffs so at first uh, we'll go out some vibrance and the saturation a little bit yeah that's fine the before and after that's fine after we'll go to the color mixture for the selection color here some saturation and the hue from here here some rust uh, and everything if we make the rust like that and this blue we want to make this one little bit of aqua uh, this sort of aqua okay that's fine and now the saturation of the orange we can make increase purples and everything so let's see the dull one and the uh, amazing one so after that luminance in the face we are getting the orange and the yellow over there a little bit of red over there so before one and after one some color is appearing which is pretty good and after that we'll go to the color getting options which is most important because of the shadow color midtone color and highlight color three color uh, we can change from these options so one thing is that hue is the color which color do you want to place in your photo and the saturation percentage of the color how many color you want to provide over there so we are providing here 15 percent which is the uh, saturation and you can change the hue from here so which color do you want to provide i would like to use that so before one was like that after one we are getting like that okay in a shadow we provided that or we can make this one a little bit of warm tone or this sort of which is pretty good for me and the mid tone less highlighted area not shadow not highlight less highlighted area meaning the under the chin and the uh, less highlighted in this portion we are getting the uh, mid tone so in this portion again we'll provide the saturation 15 percent and now we'll choose the color hue which color we should provide over there so we are just uh, portraying the sunset mood that's why we should uh, keep this one a little bit of uh, like a warm sort of things this one and the luminance will make this one like that the balance and everything so now the highlight so highlight should be same saturation 15 
that's fine and now hue which color you want to provide in this photo okay that's good little bit of good things so let's see the dull one and after you are getting like that now we'll go to the basic of the light so exposure and contrast so contrast we are providing a little bit of contrast which will make your photo more popped up and then the highlight uh, will down a little bit of highlight like that and adding some shadow so let's see before one and after one and the exposure will make a little bit of down shadow and for that uh, exposure is down that's why we'll increase the shadow a little bit and whites let's see whites is like that and whites will make this one 20 plus 20 is good and the blacks will make the blacks like that so let's see the before one was like that and after one we are getting like that now uh, we'll work with the uh, some other stuffs like vignetting and everything so going to the detail adding some noise reduction and the color noise reduction which will make the photo the noise free okay and then uh, going to the uh, color grading again uh, or here from here the saturation of the shadow uh, which is highlight and shadow will make the saturation a little bit of up okay let's see before and after that's fine and now going to the curves which is really important for this because of here is the uh, red green and blue which is the rgb and here the all so we'll go to the curve like that and here we'll make the curve a little bit okay let's see before one and after one so i'm saving these settings for you guys and i'll provide you the settings for your implementation saving that and providing the name uh, like uh, sunset sunset light you can use that XMP in your photography so I'll show you how to use that XMP uh, and hit the OK button okay let's see our image was like that and you made the image by using some replacement of the sky some color grading and everything you are getting wow type so now uh, we can make a little bit of anything so let's adding some gradient over there so from here some from the basic i'm making this and going to the linear to radial making this one reverse and making the scale up like that so 223 is good and now we'll change the bling, blending mode into multiply and the little bit of opposite down so let's see the before one and after one before one the non-edited image and after one you're getting like that so after providing that we'll uh, make this image uh, more crisp how to do that uh, at first press ctrl or command j right press and rasterize the layer and the filter and going to the other options and going to the high pass options so from here i'll make some high pass which is 1.5 little bit of crisp okay and providing the name high pass that's fine and now we'll change the blending mode into like a soft light or hard light whichever do you want so if we zoom this one and turn it off and turn it on so when you are using the high pass the hair area and everything which is making the crisp look over there so hope that you learn a lot from this video as well until the next video asmr signing out stay safe stay healthy keep me in your prayers and bye bye